On to the main then. Nigerian jollof rice with chicken, oxtail and dodo. My side dish for my jollof rice is dodo, not a... <laughs> Dodo, but plantain. <laughs> Dodo? Dodo? <laughs> Dodo? Back in the kitchen, Eloho fries off her plantain. Looking good. And moves on to her oxtail. I think I heard oxtail from my grandma. Uh, like, I think, I think, do you not, or that's ox tongue. Yeah, clues in the name, fella. I could fire you, will burn. Oxtail serenaded, it's in with onions, a sprinkle of peri peri, salt and garlic. It's left to simmer and will be served with chicken and her jollof rice later. With mixed reviews for the starter, it's over to the dodo in the main. I don't think anyone has had dodo before or anything else. Of course, they've, they may have had chicken, but I don't think they've had any anything like this before. Yeah, I think they probably have tried chicken. This is going to win me that £1,000. <laughs> Here it is, Nigerian jollof rice with chicken, oxtail and dodo. Thank you. So this is my main. It's called jollof rice, uh, served with dodo. And oh. dodo is plantain, actually. What's plantain? Oh. I dodo. <laughs> <laughs> plantain is a fruit or a vegetable. Mm. Right, okay. Yeah, it looks like a banana. Right. I thought dodo was the extinct bird, so I thought you'd got in a time machine. <laughs> And I, thought, I, thought it was like, I thought it was some kind of chicken heart or something. <laughs> Everyone happy now? Do we know what's on our plates? Can I ask a question about the ox tail? Yeah. So this is like a tail of an ox? Yes. So do you just pull the meat off? Yeah, you can pull the meat off. <laughs> <laughs> you thought the dodo was an extinct <laughs> bird? <laughs> you shut up. I'm sorry, but the ox tail was so grim. It had, like, this big bone in it, and then you had to, like, Flake off. All I could think of was like, like my dog's tail, and if someone had cut her tail, and it just like the whole thing for me was too much. Bit weird. Love how you've cooked your rice. It's just uh, phenomenal. I can never <laughs> get rice quite right. <laughs> I really love the flavours. It was cooked to perfection. Oh, I could just eat that again. It was so delicious. The oxtail was a surprise. It was fully flavour, so. I'm now open to trying flavours that I would never have tried before, so, yeah, it was nice. The meat was delicious, mm -hmm. but I think the dodo belongs with the bird. <laughs> I just was not... I was not a fan. Even tried it, dodo, yeah. but was not a fan. thought the dodo was doo-doo. <laughs> Moving on. At the table, it's Nigeria versus Scotland. Nigerians are better dancers than the Scots. Fair. Mm -hmm. They are louder than the more Scots. More hip movement going on there, I think. More hip movement, yeah. Definitely. I think that. you're more expressive, Fair. and I think yeah. it's a really good thing. Yeah. yeah. More charismatic. Feel like that. So we're more charismatic, mm. we're more energetic. Do steady on. So we are lethargic, <laughs> bad dancers. <laughs> I do think Scottish people are more friendly than Nigerian people, um, but I will give a lot of the benefit of the doubt. Um, I think Nigerians are better dancers. When it gets to my night, do you know, I'm going to ramp it up and show her that Scotland is much more fun, much more energetic, and much more of a laugh than Nigeria is. Growing up as a child, um, my mother, my sister, they've told me that when I was nine months old, I started to sing. And if you tell me a word as butterfly, I'll turn it into a song. If I give you a word, can you make it into a song? Try it, try it, try it, try it, try it. Toto. Mm. <laughs> Dodo? How about um, Ryan? Oh, Ryan, you're so good, Ryan. I love your hair, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're going to do another game and we're going to try and do some harmonies going. I'm going to give a note and then you probably would harmonize it or take it to the next a progression and then we're all going to just do it together, so I go, ah. Can you go that way first? What, sorry, what does harmonise? What's a harmonise? Um, so, with singing, you've got the soprano. Ugh, these are all musical terms. Jamie might not have known many words tonight, but by the end of the week, he'll have a whole new vocabulary. And, um, yes, don't you worry, we'll, we'll get him worded up. <laughs> Let's do a harmony with your name, Jamie. Yeah. 
Jamie. Let's go. Jamie. I think harmony means just a... Let's leave it to the professionals, shall we? Speaking of which, Eloho's got a choir round. Try and clap in time, everyone, please. Oh, happy day. It's a happy, happy, happy day. Oh, happy day. I hope there was going to be some sort of gospel singing, but I did not expect that. The choir, oh, they were fabulous. Oh, happy day. It's a happy, happy, happy day. Oh, happy day. Woo! Woo! I don't normally sing as well, uh, but I actually felt myself having to get involved with the singing and I really enjoyed it. I felt like Maggie Smith in Sister Act too. Back in the habit, classic. It's really good. The singing, the, the energy, it just, like, it completely blew me away. The singing was absolutely amazing. That made my night. Absolutely made my night. It was fabulous. I took my guests to church tonight and they absolutely loved it. <laughs>